Honestly, Kev is faffing about and we're getting savaged by the midge. On Kev. <laughs> Right, that's us just set off. It is bang on 10 o'clock and we are heading up Ben with us for a night hike and summit camp. I'm hoping to do a bivvy but it's a wee bit cloudy so if it's too cloudy I'm going to revert to the tent but we'll see what it's like further up. It's very spooky at night, isn't it? Very spooky. Spooky Vantouche. Spooky make spooky. I've got the key. I've got the key. You've got the secret. I've got the key. Don't actually need the head torch, there's enough light. But the path is littered with toads and frogs and I really don't want to stand on one if I can help it. So head torch on. You know what's going to happen? We're going to get up to the summit just after midnight and boom, there'll be somebody camping up at the summit. Alright, Kev? Yeah. I'll be stripy hat guy in his towel. Sorry, Robin, I got here first. Right, it's just gone 11 o'clock. We have an altitude of 400 meters. That's another 600 to go. Bloody hell. <laughs> I think night time makes everything a bit more deceiving because you can't really see your progress. I have no idea if the camera is going to pick this out, but we are above the cloud. There's Kev. And the cloud is just behind Kevin. Right, we have got the, the sturgeon moon. Shining brightly. And there's also a meteoroid shower tonight. I think it's the Per Said, I think it's pronounced. Right, that's us. Just reached the first top. I think it's pronounced An Kabar or something like that. It's 946 metres high. And there's a short dip between this summit and obviously the true summit being with us. I think it's about a kilometre or two further along the ridge. So, what we'll do is there's not much to show you in the dark. Me and Kev will push along to the summit. I'll see you there. That is us reached the summit of Ben with us at 1 a.m. So what was that? 10, 11, 12, uh, three hours it took. So that's not too bad. The ground's uneven though. Oh yeah, it's four hours sleep. <laughs> I forgot my little electric pump. So pump sack it is. The bivy bag is out, it's the upkit cloak. Inside the bivy bag, I have got my Xped Sinmat HLM. I've got my old Cumula sleeping bag and my Trekology pillow. That is me sorted. And I've got my little bit of foam mat just for uh, sitting on to get changed. Kev is rocking his Lanshan Pyramid, Pyramid 1.5. I'm just going to use it as a tarp, it's a canopy bowling, hook in the inner end. Yeah, so he's just going to use his inner as a ground sheet. Plenty of room in there for me, mate. Well, if you get <laughs> lonely during the night. If it starts raining, I'll be through. <laughs> right, that's me snug as a bug in the rug in my bivvy bag. It's 20 to 2, sunrise. Is it 20 to 6? So uh, what does that give me? Four hours sleep? Joy. Anyways, I shall uh, bring you back in the morning. Cheers. Good morning, campers. 
current scenes at half five in the morning. <laughs> well, for my first bivvy, I actually really enjoyed that. I didn't think I was going to though. Last night the ground was quite moist, obviously with the cloud that came in before, and uh, it was a little bit twisted in the bivvy bag and I wasn't really enjoying it at first, but then I woke up during the night, saw two shooting stars, I thought, hey, this is actually quite good. So uh, yeah, I'll certainly try it again. But anyways, we're going to head off this hill just the way we came up last night. If you've watched this far, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.